What's going on YouTube? Matt from Garage MC here. Guys, I'm in the middle of making a video repairing this Raptor 660R 2003 limited edition. Uh, it's not that bad, but we don't even know if it runs yet. Um, and this video, well actually I was making the video on that and I was getting to the point where I was going to clean and recharge the K&N air filter. I said, you know what? Let me make a video in itself just on how to recharge a K&N air filter. Um, at least the way I do it. We follow the instructions uh, and I add a step or two. That's really it. I will um, let you guys know what the instructions say exactly. Uh, we'll take the paper out and read it and then uh, I'll tell you what I add on to that um, for the way I like to do it. If you guys are just finding my channel for the first time now, you, you found it at a great time, man. It's 2023. We're kicking the year off with a bang. We're getting our 465 EX build. Um, Every nut and bolt, everything on the whole quad, all done by me in the garage. Nothing outsourced, um, except for a carburetor we're having built by Curtis from 223cycles.net. Um, anyway, yeah, that's what we do on the channel, guys. We build quads, uh, have fun, mess around, all that good stuff. So, stick around. Let's get into recharging this K&N air filter. So, as per K&N instructions, st step one, apply the cleaner. So, liberally spray the K&N filter cleaner or K&N power clean, which is what we have, filter cleaner, power clean. Um, it also says, on both sides of the filter and allow to soak for 10 minutes to loosen the dirt. Do not allow cleaner to dry on the air filter. Step two would be rinse off air filter uh, with cool, low-pressure water from the clean side out, so from the inside of the filter out, in order to flush the dirt out of the filter. Continue to rinse the filter until all traces of cleaner are gone. It may be necessary to repeat steps one and two. Step three. After rinsing, gently shake off excess water and allow filter to dry naturally. Do not oil until the filter is dry. Step four. Squeeze the oil. Apply K&N air filter oil evenly along the crown of each filter pleat. Um... So, filter pleat, here is a brand new Canaan filter. Um, these are the pleats, so it would want you to apply the oil along the ridge, the outer ridge, from the outside, not the inside. So, this is what a brand new K&N filter looks like, fresh out of the box. The one that came out of this Raptor here is this one. Now, this is pretty common for these to get bent like this, um, you know, from handling them, putting them in. You got to get the boots over the intake, all that stuff. So, first things first, guys, what I do before I go with the cleaner, I'm going to soak it from the inside out first and remove any loose dirt that I can. This way, the cleaner isn't um, cleaning stuff that doesn't need to be cleaned. Let's give it its best chance. So, let me set up for that, and we will start with... Uh, I guess we'll call it step 0.5 because it's not step one. All right, so I'm going to take my small water hookup that I have uh, kind of rigged up in my garage here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take the filter. Uh, I'm going to go from the inside out. So let's see how much dirt we can get out of it. This is what it looks like now, guys. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty nasty. Pretty, pretty, pretty raunchy. You guys can see how that's pushing the water from the inside out, loosening all that dirt that's stuck in there. And I'm going to do this probably for a minute or two, get as much of it as I can out. Um, it says to do it with cool water. Uh, this hookup that I have in my garage is hooked up to the hot water. Uh, I use it for hooking up to the power washer when I clean quads. Um, like I said before, if you guys are just finding my channel for the first time, welcome. Check out some of our other uploads, guys. I have over 150 between uh, full-length videos, shorts, and uh, live streams. We do some live streams every now and again. Uh, we've also done a few giveaways. But, like I said, I'm going to continue doing this for a little bit here, and then I'll pick back up with you guys, and we will apply the, uh, the cleaner that comes with the kit. Next step, let's apply the filter cleaner or power clean as it says here on the bottle. We'll go ahead and apply this from the inside first, then we'll apply it to the outside. Um, I'm gonna just give the bottle a little shake. It's been sitting around for a little bit. All right, so it says uh, liberally in the instructions. 
This friggin' nozzle kind of sticks a little bit. Alright, that's not gonna work for me. Okay. That's great. The nozzle's sticking, guys. That's alright. We're gonna make do. We're gonna make do here. You know what I mean? Let me get this done. Come on. Well, that's enough to drive you nuts, huh? You guys are wondering whose crazy dog is outside barking, not shutting up. Yep, that's mine. You guys met her in one of my uh, my last video. One of my last videos, actually, depending on whether this comes out before the wrap the repair or not. She is a crazy little mutt. She is um, Pomeranian Poodle and Chihuahua mixed. The mother was Pomeranian Poodle, half and half, and the father was Chihuahua. So, she is, and notice I said she, she is an absolute nut job. But anyway, all right, well, you guys see what I'm doing here. We don't need to see every single spray. So, I'm soak the inside, and I'm also going to really soak the outside very well. Um, the outside, more than the inside, because uh, obviously it's where all the dirt and debris gets collected. So, let me soak all this up, and we'll check back and see how this looks after 10 minutes of soaking. Here we are, guys. Let me get the bucket so this don't drip everywhere. This is after about 10 to 15 minutes of soaking. Um... That's what you're going to look like. Uh, it's going to get cleaner as we rinse it because it still has all like the dirt mixed in with the uh, whatever that power clean stuff is, the greaser, whatever type of soap it is. So, all right, let's start uh, start rinsing it from the inside out first. Make sure I got you guys in the shot. There we go. All right. Turn my water on. guys can see that I don't know if you guys can see that how how dirty that water looks you can see a huge improvement already so here's the side I just rinsed obviously it's still a little dirty but it's all coming clean kind of coming pretty clean actually all right I'll keep soaking here and it says in the directions, guys, you want to rinse all of this cleaner out of out of this out of the air filter. You don't want to have any residue of that stuff. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what the problem would be. Um, but whenever you think that you've rinsed it enough and that it's good and clean, go ahead and rinse it again. Just be on the safe side. Hey, you can see where the spots I didn't get to yet. As soon as we hit them, you can see the water turn like brown. Right there, you guys can see that. All right, well, I'm going to continue this step after I feel like it's clean enough from the inside out. I'm then going to rinse the outside as well. And then I will let this dry and I'll pick back up with you guys when we go to oil it. And I'll show you that and that will be the last step. So stay tuned. All right, last step. We got this k and air filter oil. You can also, this is, um. It has like where you could uh, pour it onto the pleats, uh, like with this nozzle. It doesn't come out super fast. I mean, if you squeeze it, it'll shoot out, but it's controllable. Uh, they also have this in an aerosol spray. So if you have an aerosol spray, it says right here, aerosol. Spray cane and air filter oil evenly along the crown of each filter pleat, holding the nozzle about three inches away. That's for the aerosol down here. Uh, we have the squeeze oil, so it's, you know, the same thing, but you just apply it to the top of the pleat. Um, I was standing here waiting for this air filter to dry, guys, and I noticed out of the corner of my eye what this says down on the bottom. It causes severe skin burns and eye damage. Um, I didn't think that this uh, cleaner spray was that corrosive or harmful, but, I mean, you take a minute here and just look at some of the stuff that it says. It's, uh, it's pretty serious. Pretty serious, pretty serious stuff here. So uh, be sure you're doing this in a ventilated area. Um, you know, have your garage door open or do it outside if it's nice out. But uh, you know, some of the some of the stuff it says on here is uh, 
It's pre pretty worrying. Pretty worrying, if you ask me. Where, where was the one part that I read? It said, oh, if inhaled, remove person to fresh air and keep comfortable for breathing. That sounds, that sounds pretty bad. But anyway, yeah, uh, safety, safety, if not first, at least third, guys. Um, anyway, all right. Let's apply the huile, or in English, oil, um, to the pleats. So, you're going to want to take this and... You, you don't want to put too much. You, you can over-oil these. And if you do think you did, leave it sitting like that. Whatever side, you know, would drain, you know, standing up. So any excess oil will eventually... You'd probably have to let it sit for like a day or two like that. Or, you know, maybe it would do in a couple of hours. But here's the basic uh, principle of what you do here, guys. You don't want to start, start somewhere, you know, where you can remember where you started. In case it wicks into the other ones. But you just take it. And do, 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 do. why is it not coming out? Oh wait, maybe I put the <laughs> uh, nope, she's open. Okay, <clears throat> it's cold out here, so maybe that's why it's not one to flow so freely. But here we go. Let's try this again. Come on. Why is this not coming out? Oh, uh, duh, guys, I I'm like stupid today i did leave the friggin plug in this thing from the last time i used it <laughs> okay take uh take three as it is now all right promise we're, we're gonna have oil come out this time i'm not even squeezing the bottle guys i'm just letting the the weight of the fluid push it out so you want to get it right on the peak of each pleat and then let it wick like I said, you don't want to do too much. Uh, it does say in the instructions, if after 20 minutes you see any dry spots, you can add more to where it is too light. But you do not want to put an over excessive amount on here. Um, you know, it's like most things in life. You can always add more. You can't take any away. Well, with most, most things anyway. All right, so this is the basic step. I'm going to do this all the way around the filter. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done, and then I will piece you guys out. All right, guys, so that's it to uh, cleaning and recharging your KNN air filter that is a lifetime air filter. Um, this one is pretty much on the verge of being destroyed and should probably be replaced at this point with the uh, the screen that goes around the, the mesh or the filter material um, with that many nicks and stuff in it. But it doesn't have any holes in it, so I'm going to run it again. Um, well, I'm going to run it for the first time because I just got this quad. Uh, hopefully we run it because, like I said, I don't know if this quad even runs. We, we don't even know yet. Fingers crossed. Um, that video either might have just came out before this one or right after this one it'll come out. Um, probably right after this one. I usually do uh, my larger videos on the weekend. But <clears throat> let's take a look at the filter now. I will also put a screenshot of it before we started on the screen while we're looking at it. But here it is, guys. I have it standing up. You can see the oil is starting to collect at the bottom any excess that it had. So right about now at this point in time, I'm going to flip it over and let it also sit this way. So then all that extra oil will wick all the way back down the filter. It'll get any of these light spots, and uh, I probably won't touch this until tomorrow um, and see how it made out, uh, obviously. But as you guys can see, here I'll put I'll put the screenshot of it uh, from before right next to it right here. Came out came out pretty decent. Matter of fact, here we'll put the put the new one next to it and see what it looks like. And when all the oil wicks out of there, it'll it'll be about that tint by the time it's done and it dries up a little bit and like i said whatever excess runs off so there it is guys easy easy step to do um a new k&n air filter depending on the machine um i know for like a 400x it's anywhere from 70 to 90 dollars i don't know how much these uh these twin intake the twin intake style since a raptor has two carburetors on it um kind of like a kind of like a banshee you know i don't really know anything else that has twin carburetors um offhand anyway um, anyway, 
yeah, so thank you guys for uh, checking out the video. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're new to my channel and you don't know yet, I read and answer every single one of my comments. I don't just hit you with a thumbs up. I actually interact with you. So if you want to take a minute and throw a comment down there, have at it. I will definitely answer you back, usually pretty quick, too, within the same day. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you also for subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the garage next time.